Hey guys, welcome to this new video from Geek and Giggle. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to allow users to select multiple choices um, when uh, creating a project. So let's say you have a book website uh, where users add their favorite books. Okay, so normally what's the, the default thing in Django is that when you make choices, they're going to be a drop down menu and it only have limiting your user to one choice. So what if you don't want to limit them to one book? Uh, it's a wish list or um, a fa favor list. So there's probably more than more than one book. So let's see how we're going to do this. And it's pretty easy. OK, so the steps are. First of all, we're going to get your model class ready, which are presumably I am. Um, that you have this ready and we're going to install this super awesome package which is going to get the job done for us then we're going to import it in our models file then use it then for best practice we're going to run make migrations and migrate again um to check for errors in our code okay um now let's see the demo okay so i have created a simple project a brand new project it's totally empty and Let's open my models file. Okay, so we're gonna make class book models dot model. Then we're gonna make um the book choices. I'm gonna name it. You can name it anything uh, anything you want. And open bracket indentation. And I've prepared some choices that are gonna be some of my favorite books: Perks of Being a Wallflower, All the Bright Places, Girl in the Girl in the Tree. Oh. The girl on the train and I assume that there is a book called Django okay so let's create the first um, column in the database or in the table uh, title equals models dot chore field max length equals 100 and the choices are gonna be book choices Okay, uh, now let's register that in our admin web in ad, admin page. So admin. Uh, first, we have to import from dot models import. Um, what was the name? Book. Okay, so admin dot site dot um, dot register. We're gonna register book. Okay, now let's go to our terminal here over there. Um, Python manage.py make migrations and oh, um, Python. Wait, wait a sec. Data. Oh, sorry, I had forgot to add this in our settings file. Okay, okay. So sorry, so sorry. Where's where's the applications? Okay. Um, it's because I created a brand new project, so that's why. Um, now it's gonna work. Yes, hopefully. Okay, now let's migrate. Migrate. Voila. Okay, now it's ready. Let's open it in our browser. Um, new window. Oh, I have to run the server first. Python manage. Oh, I have to. Create a super user first. Create a super user. I have to make this ready. Okay, I'm gonna name it um, tests, and I'm gonna skip the email, and I'm gonna add my super duper password. Um, again. Now I'm ready. Now I can run the server. I prefer running it on port 8080. 127 Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Yay, the project works, but let's see the admin page. Um, test my super duper password. And we have our table there. And let's add a book. Okay, so we have the title field. Let's see. Now you can only choose only one. Okay, so what if you want your user to choose more than one? Okay, so that's what I'm going to show you guys now. Um, it's going to be pretty easy. Okay, so first of all, we're going to install something, so the package I told you about, so it's um, 
that's it. I'm gonna post the link in the description uh, description below the video. Okay, so following it, we're gonna install this package. Okay, so let's exit this. Okay, we're gonna install this. It's gonna take a few seconds, depending on your internet connection. Oh, it's already there. Okay, um, uh, yeah, it's already there because I used it before. And I'm gonna import it in your in my um, models file okay and finally it's just that easy your field is going to be named this way and it won't have a max length so we're just going to delete this and we're just going to delete this and put multi select field okay what well, and we're going to add multi select field in our um app installed applications where we just added our application data. Okay, on dictation. Okay, what else are they saying? Nothing. So that's pretty easy. I mean, and it's gonna work like charm, you know. Um, let's make migrations because I always prefer making migrations. Okay, and it's gonna alter uh, the field, like the manage.py. I have it ready. Okay, why do I always do this? Migrate. Okay, and one server. And let's see the magic happen. Come on, run the server. Okay, let's see the magic happen. Now we can choose more than one field. And we're going to save and open it again. More than one, more than three. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys fixed the problem that you were stuck in. And if you have any questions or anything you want to ask or any problem you're stuck in, just leave it in the comments section and I'm going to answer it as soon as possible. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe, share, do everything because I'm, I'm still new, okay? Thank you and see you in a new